My name is Dr. Stephen B. Kennedy. I'm the principal investigator for the Ebola vaccine clinical trial research in Morovia, Liberia. Doctors, special infectious disease researchers, clinicians that was involved in the treatment of patients were using evidence, say for example, in the Ebola treatment unit, you had to rehydrate because Patients with emergency infectious disease are dehydrated, so you have to rehydrate. That's also based on evidence. You have to ensure that you protect it to be able to, to address them. That was also based on evidence. So without the presence of evidence, I can clearly indicate that 10 to 24 infections and death will have occurred. So this evidence predominantly helped to save lives significantly. We work in conflict and crisis settings and with displaced populations around the world. We need evidence across the board in humanitarian aid. Uh, and, and in areas that don't attract the kind of collaboration and investment that vaccines do, we perhaps need it even more. You don't see the same kind of momentum and investment that you do in areas such as how to prevent violence against women or children or how to educate kids that have been out of school for years and in terrible school systems. And in those areas, we have huge gaps in evidence and a need to see support not only from the aid industry, but outside it as well. We know that there are certain determinants that potentiate the spread of epidemics. Conflicts, political instability, poverty, distrust in the government, poor infrastructure. Those determinants have existed in the West African basis for a long period of time. There has been less effort to be able to address them. So that even makes us more prone based on evidence to epidemic. There are 65 million people displaced in the world, and of those, you know, more than half are children. I think education is among the most important areas because we know from science, from brain science, that uh, trauma has a really terrible effect on kids' brains, that it causes them to not be able to focus, to regulate their emotions, and it has an impact on their whole lives moving forward. We also know from research in stable context that education and early learning development can have a positive impact on that. We have science and we have research on intervention effectiveness uh, to help the kids that are suffering worldwide. This forum create the appropriate platform for us to be able to share evidence, to share knowledge, to be able to help prepare us in terms of future deterrence from future outbreak. Through networking, through collaboration, being able to assess available data in the public space, those information we're gonna take them back, especially for me, being a leader in clinical research in my country. So I'm gonna take those information back to my country to be able to practicalize them for the benefit of the country.